discussion. Discussion? Yes. For which, do you have anybody up here? Uh, uh, yes, there's some more members up here. Okay. Um, back in June. Remember that one? June of last year, I guess it was. Uh, the topic of you guys island and the width of the road came before us. And we asked that it be moved. In the meantime, the island be removed or the road was go to 20 foot on either side, 20 continuous feet. In the meantime, the fire marshal got involved and a lot of attorneys got involved. But the main reason we asked that it be removed is it was never approved. It was never brought before the Planning Commission and approved as an addition to the Soto Um The fire marshal issued a, an opinion which said he felt like it was safe enough. And a lot of time has elapsed. However, that island and those two narrow streets have still never been approved. So, what we would like you guys to do is come up with an idea, either removing the island, stretching the roads out, something that will get you guys into compliance and get approval for that road. Well, and I guess I'm confused. Uh, when I came here in June or whenever that was, it was on an appeal because of the decision of the inspector, Corey. Now, you uh, were scheduled to go to the Board of Adjustments for that appeal. And Nicole, you may have to help out here. Um, Okay. Well, and, but, and, and okay, but I guess what I'm asking now is that everything there, every piece of concrete, every piece of asphalt has been there for 25 years. But it was, but not it was never on site plan. plan. It wasn't on the site plan. It was never approved. Well, it's been there for 25 years. And the city's been providing water in there, you've inspected houses in there, everything's been on for 25 years, and now you're going to come and ask you to do something to get it approved. I mean, that in a nutshell is what we're saying. If you want it to stay, you need to seek approval to have it stay. You have a similar smaller island on the addition. The one that goes around to the west, the road that goes around to the west. When that site plan was submitted, that island existed on that site plan. And even though that road, too, is not 20 contiguous feet on either side of that island, this, not this planning commission, but the planning commission that was sitting up here at the time that addition came around, approved that site plan with that island in place. The the island that is the source of contention in your neighborhood has never been approved. Okay, well, and it would have been put there when the original gates, and if you look at the map, if you look at the drawing, there were gates. Yes, it would have been there put there. There, there, was, there was no not, island on the drawing. None. Zip. Well, the the I, it just buckets. says gates. That's all it says. Well, the and buckets were there. But I'm assuming because there were electric gates there. That center piece, the median that we're talking about, is where the keypad was, where you put the buttons to go into the addition. It had electric service, so I would assume 25 years ago there must have been a permit or they wouldn't have even got the electricity to run. Um, I wouldn't make any assumptions. Well, <laughs> and, and, and the gate you know, was on the plans. Our gate was on the plans. The gate so, was on the plan. Right, the got island was not having it. But the on details the plan. of how the gate was put in, and I tend to agree with you. I don't I wasn't here twenty five mm -hmm. years ago. Well, we were here twenty five we years ago. Well, I wasn't. It's, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't here twenty five years ago. The developer put that in. The developer put the gates in. 
But we don't, we can't know that for certain. I mean, what can you not know? Did the developer put in the gates? And then the developer you also, now, well, your you gate did, was moved. You, you did thing, give a valid original. permit to move the gate from where it was at to the new location when the developer opened up the other area, correct? That was probably never permitted either. I, I doubt it was the because there's a put in all, it, now, all of this would have been done through the developer. I mean, the HOA, no one else said the developer done that. <clears throat> well, and we harken back to okay. it, it, it was never approved. approved. Okay, so well, you we have to have an approved. If what you want is a drawing of what's there, um, no. I'll be happy to do We want a drawing showing it in compliance because we. Well, and then that is a question of compliance because the way that I read state fire code. We're not talking about fire code. No, 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 no. This is not being based on fire code. It's been based on the zoning ordinance. Right. Okay, so well, I'm talking about the 20 foot road. 10 foot on each side adds to 20. It's actually a little bit. actually was 30 in, feet. It was 15 on each side. One way requires 50. Well, I don't know what it requires now. I, I don't know what y'all want out of us. The developer put this in 25 years ago. It's been there for 25 years. I don't know what you're asking us to do. There you are, should have there took are, care of that with the developer 25 years ago. What we're talking about now, trying to get you all into compliance. So what you're saying is the city let the developer get away with something. We and don't now know you want to come back and put make that us that in there. Let's back up. You just said you weren't here 25 years ago. And this particular board was not watching over things 25 years ago. Well, and I agree. Whether or not that developer built that island at the time that subdivision was created is unbeknown to all of us. But it was on room. none of the, the site plans and flats that were submitted to us. It is not on the approved plan. <coughs> that we do know. That is fact. So whether it was a developer or subsequent to... Well, I know that our attorney built his house in 97. And it was there then, and mm -hmm. the gates were there then? The gates, indeed, probably were there. Well, and you have to have the keypad to open the gates. That you was, don't need a six-foot wide island necessarily that was not on the site plan. Well, I'm just telling you it was there when he built in 96. Okay. okay, we're just offering you an opportunity to bring that into compliance. Otherwise, we will have to make another decision on whether or not it's dead. And rather than push y'all down that road, we're trying to give you the opportunity to bring it into compliance and draw it on a flat so it can be approved. This is what we're doing. Can I ask, so it's out of compliance because you don't have the permit? Is that the part where we're out of compliance? It was never approved. And the roads are not in compliance with road minimums. And you say that's 20 feet for a one-way street? 15. 15. 15 is the minimum. 24 is the maximum. Well, and, and I guess what I would say, I, I, I say this with all respect, I didn't come here to make a decision tonight. I came we here don't, to no, we don't want a decision. And, and I'm going to have to pass that back through sure. our attorney sure. and I'm assuming that you are also requiring all these things of every other division in the city of Dolphin Island. Um, can you show us? Like Audubon and all of those who have gates as well and the Sandcastle and all those condominiums yeah. that they've got 15 feet on each side of the gate. We can that the road the Sandcastle has a single entrance and there's volume of 15 feet, but yes. Okay, that's fire code would say. And, and if, if the plat for Audubon shows that there was a gatehouse on either side you know, and road on either side, then yeah, at the time it was permitted, then it's legal. What we're saying here is the plat for DeSoto Landing does not show the aisle. Okay, well, I, like I say, I'll, 
I'll let my, I'll talk to our attorney and we'll see where it goes from there. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, for us to come back and spend a pile of money doing the developer's job doesn't make sense. No. Because um, that's what it's boiling down to is you want the HOA to do what the developer should have done. Well, there are other issues that we are not addressing tonight, but your circle does not meet what's on your plat either. Quite frankly. The circle was uh, and, and I would go back to, guys, that was 25 years ago in a developer. But it's still wider than was permitted. Well, and 25 years ago is when we should have figured that out. I didn't even live in Alabama. Now, I tend to agree ago. with you. Neither did I. But you're asking me to spend money, my money, and everyone in that neighborhood fixing something that some some other people within the city let go 25 years ago and it's going to be an expense to everyone else. Has your HOA had complaints about this? Excuse me, ma'am? Has your homeowner association had complaints about Only this? one. Yeah. That is why it's been brought to the attention of Town Hall and that's why Town Hall became aware of the fact that it was not in and that is the way most regulations work just about in every town around uh -huh. is one person complains and ergo a process gets rolling it's like your neighbor's dog barking i mean you call the police the dog gets shut up next thing you know you've got an ordinance about no barking dogs okay, but i assume with building it was like building a house and the code enforcement officer shows up make sure you build it like you're supposed to do it if it had been on your plans, then that could have been done. Well, and like I said, 25 and years ago, I can't tell you what happened. And we can't either. So to make any supposition about 25 years ago is, is nothing yet. Sir. Jerry, you can't argue the fact that this was some error in the past when you didn't pull any permits for the palm trees and the rock. You know, all, all of this is being spirited. It. it was done to prohibit boats. You rerouted the traffic. Ma'am, you've done everything you can to hassle boat owners. No, I haven't, Joe. And then I'm over it. I haven't, Joe. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Well, wow. as a matter of fact, you don't pull a permit to plant trees in a medium. You can work in the flower bed. And we're not here to argue. Y'all can do that out. You can put anything the in the middle of the road. road. You have, as you said, you need to go back to the visitor and go that in. And, and just out of curiosity, just I know that the city supports fishermen and boats, and right? I mean, we all enjoy our fishermen and our people. We all do that. But I noticed that we're planting trees and stuff in the medium between the two roads, and I assume it's to keep people parking wrong and driving through in the wrong places and going. It's really for safety and beauty. No, it was really for beautification. Yeah, so and, and the town received the grant to beautify the island and, and, and I agree with you completely. Now would it be a, would it be odd for me to tell you you hate boaters because you're making it pretty and because we can't park out in the medium and leave our trailers and pickups there like we used to and I'm not understanding. Well that's the same logic that's I'm hearing by having to the subject of Yeah, here. I support you. I think it does look beautiful. Carol it, it is. I'm quite yeah, I think I think it looks good what you're doing in the media. I just would I think we need to get around to the, at least talk about time frame as to Yeah, I would so. um and can I ask you to send it to me in writing, please? That way it goes uh, I know we can't sure. Yeah, I mean we, we need that. that. So all I was saying is, you know, you've heard what the request is. I guess we need to come up with some kind of a agreeable timeline of when you all can bring back something has been requested but what's a reasonable period of time I think we need to kind of have that so that we're all working off the same page. Uh, and as, as soon as you give it to me in writing I'm, I'll be talking to my attorney tonight anyway well, yeah, yeah. but as soon as I get it in writing we will respond appropriately and uh, you know we're, and we'll address the yeah, timeline in the letter. Yes, and, and I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, just 
would like it in writing so that I don't mess up and speak out of turn or do something wrong. I mean, we want to follow the book on this. And, uh, if, if we tell you to have it at the May meeting, you have to have it in in 15 days. Is that too soon? Do you want to go to the June meeting? Are you asking me? I'm asking him. Well, and what can he meet? What kind of deadline can you get us an answer? Uh, usually he's pretty quick. Okay. You know, so, so I would think in two weeks an attorney should be able to get you an answer. Okay. We thought the fire marshal would give us an answer with that. And he didn't. Weeks too, didn't yeah. 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 Yeah, no, and he didn't. So I, mean, I, mean, I was just in, asking in to event, make sure. In the event there's a problem, I will let you know. Okay. And ask. Okay. So we'll hear from you when so we have it by our night meeting because our right deadline right. is in 15 yes, days. So, yeah, okay. I'll let you know. Alright. Alright. So I'm looking for one more motion. I'll make a motion with you adjourn. A second. All in favor? Aye. We have a motion Aye. by Pat and a second by Neil to adjourn. Aye. All in favor? Aye. We can get back to the Very good, guys. Thanks. <laughs>